Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another Redstone video and in this one we're going to take a look at this little vending machine. Now for those of you who've been on my channel for a very long time indeed, you might remember the original design that I came up with here that was introduced when hoppers were first added into the game. Now this vending machine was pretty cool and it was an awesome concept but unfortunately it had a few flaws in it that made it very difficult to use in survival mode. So the other day I decided to head back to the drawing board, come up with some completely new designs and I'm actually really happy with what I managed to do. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now before we begin, I just want to mention that if I do sound just a little bit under the weather, unfortunately that's because I'm coming down with a bit of a winter cold. But I'm going to be pushing through today because this redstone design is awesome and I really want to show you guys. So anyway, down at the bottom here we have got our payment input chest, then up here we have got our selection panel, then over here we have got the output chest. So if you chuck a diamond inside this payment hopper here, you can see that our redstone lamp turns on. That means that we can now use the system. And if we hit one of these buttons, for example, the redstone block button, you can hear everything fires into action. The redstone lamp is now turned off, meaning that we can't use the selection panel. And if we check in this chest over here, we've got ourselves a redstone block. Now, some of the other interesting features of this design are as follows. First off, if you try and place any old item inside this hopper here, as you can see, none of those are going through. The only type of item that will go through this hopper is, of course, the diamond. The other interesting fact about this one is we can actually do bulk purchases. So we just throw a couple diamonds into this hopper here, we throw a bunch of them in there, and then our redstone lamp is on it. If we just place this, then we have to wait, and then this one, and then perhaps this one as well, and this one. Basically, you have to wait for that little ding that plays through the note block. And then finally, this one, I think I only put five diamonds in. There we go. We have gone through everything. And now we have all of the items in the output chest. Now, there is one small issue with this design, and you actually just saw it in action there. And that is the fact that you can't do bulk purchases particularly quickly. You have to wait for that little ding noise. And that's quite simply because if you do it too fast, then that means that some of the button presses aren't going to register properly. And that isn't particularly brilliant, is it? But anyway, if we take a look around the back, you can see all of the redstone behind this thing. And I have to say... I've done a pretty good job here. This thing is extremely compact and is actually really quite small, especially considering how much is going on. This is a far more complex design than my original vending machine that I created, but it still stays really quite compact. As always, if you do want to have a bit of a fiddle with the redstone yourself, or perhaps just take a closer look, then of course there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that one out. Also, let me know down in the comments section if you like this little vending machine idea, because I think these things are really quite awesome. But anyway, for those of you who want to build it, Let's crack on and I'll show you how to do it. So you want to get things started with a 7x7 seven seven area and the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create our button panel. So you want to go three blocks back like this and then one block across and you want to go three blocks up like that and then place blocks going up from here and you want to go one, two, three, four and create your button panel. So this here is going to be our button panel. We're going to have buttons on the bottom and buttons right here. Now we're going to have the redstone inputs behind it, so we're going to have blocks like this and also blocks like that as well with redstone dust on top of all of those there. Those are of course going to be powering our droppers. Then down here we want to place a sticky piston facing downwards with a redstone block facing on its face and then you want to place a regular piston facing upwards right here which is going to update that sticky piston down at the bottom. Then next to all of this you just want to place a block up like this, we're going to have a dropper on this block right here and we're also going to have a dropper on this block right here facing inwards like that and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side so that is a dropper facing that dropper and then another dropper right here facing straight into the middle just like that then uh, we're going to head over here we're going to place three blocks out like this and a block down at the bottom there and then we're going to run hoppers straight into that block there by going out and around like that right the way around the back and then up the middle of all of these droppers. Okay, I know I messed up some of my instructions then. I seem to be losing the ability to speak, but hopefully you got the gist of all of that. If not, then of course there is a world download down in the description. But anyway, now what we need to do is we need to place a dirt bot right next to this hopper right here, and then we're going to place a note block on top of that one. Then find your note, because this is the note that's going to play to say that the player can do another button press. And then up at the top here, we just want to place a block out like this, with a sticky piston facing downwards, then we're going to need three slime blocks on the side of that one, and then we're going to place a block here, a transparent object right there, and then another block down at the bottom. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side, so that is just a block out like this, a sticky piston facing downwards with three slime blocks on its face, then we're going to go block, transparent object, and then a block once again. 
Okay, now for the first bit of actual redstone, so you want to go to the front of your button selector panel, go straight down the middle, place a chest right there, and then two hoppers on top of that one. That is going to be your input chest. Now what we've got to do is head over here, place a block down at the bottom there with redstone dust like that. That redstone block is going to extend next to this redstone dust, which is going to power it. But next to that, you want to place a block with a lever just like this one, but don't touch it because that's just a redirect to the redstone current. Now you want to place a dropper facing upwards with a hopper running down into that one, then place any old item inside that dropper. Then you want to skip a block, place a block right here, a comparator that's going to be running straight out into this block here with a redstone torch on the side of it, two blocks like this, and redstone dust on top of both of those. Okay, things are beginning to get just a little bit complicated, but I'd suggest you just bear with me here. So first off, you want to place an immovable object next to this hopper right here. So this redstone runs straight into that hopper there. Then you want to place a block right here, a comparator running out of that one. That's going to be going out into a block. Then you want to place one, two, three blocks out like this with redstone on top of all of those. You want to place a block out here, once again, with a lever like that. That's just to redirect that redstone current so that it doesn't power this hopper. Now you want to place a sticky piston facing across like this with a redstone block on its face. Then next to this comparator, you want to place another sticky piston with a slime block on its face, then a block on the face of that slime block there. And that is quite a large amount of all of the circuitry done. Now to do your redstone lamp circuit, you just want to take three blocks out like this, place redstone on top of all of those, a block up like this, and then you're going to have your redstone lamp on the top of that block. Next up, you want to head over to this side over here next to this block and you want to place an upside down half slab right there with redstone dust running straight into this hopper right here. And you want to place a sticky piston facing upward with a cauldron on its face, then a water bucket on the inside of that cauldron. And that's what we're going to use to power this comparator, which is going to go up like this with redstone dust on top of that one. A block up like this, redstone dust right here. That's going to be running straight into this block with a redstone torch on top like that. Then you want to run that right the way across here, place an upside down half slab in the center over that piston so that it doesn't get bud powered, then place another two blocks like that with redstone dust on top of all of those. And believe it or not, I believe all of the redstone is pretty much completed. Final finishing touches now. So first off, you want to place a chest on the side of this block, then run the hopper into that one, take out this hopper and run it straight into that hopper there. That was a bit of a mistake in the beginning there. Then over here in this hopper, you want to place 45 diamonds or whatever items that you want to use as your trading thing and just run them right the way across like this and then place the rest of them in that first slot right there. Then you want to head around the back and of course fill in all of your droppers. So I'm going to do redstone blocks, I'm going to do sticky pistons in that one and I'm going to do regular pistons there and redstone dust in that one there. And that is everything completed. So if we just grab ourselves our diamonds and throw them into this hopper right here, we should see that that will activate the entire mechanism. Then when we hit one of these buttons, it will power up. The item will go through into this chest up at the end here, and it will reset the entire system, meaning that we can use it once again. So there we have it, ladies and gents. You have created yourself a fully automated redstone vending machine. Of course, you've now got to do all of the decoration and things, but that is pretty much everything completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.